Thank you for watching WISD TV and welcome to Bells Hill Elementary. I'm with a very special guest from the United States Department of Agriculture. Her name is Audrey Rowe and she's flown in from Washington, D.C. and you've been on a whirlwind tour. We're going to talk about that in just a moment. Also joining us is Cliff Reese. He's our Director of Child Nutrition Services and that's really the purpose uh, Miss Rowe of your trip because it's all about feeding the children of Waco, Texas and America. Tell me a little bit about what you do for the USDA. Well, my responsibility, I'm the administrator of the Food and Nutrition Services Administration, so I have responsibility for all the domestic feeding programs, school lunch, school breakfast, uh, summer feeding, women, infants, and children, the SNAP program, farmer's markets, food on Indian reservations, you name it. There are 15 nutrition assistance programs that I'm responsible to administer. Wow. And tell me about your whirlwind tour around the United States here lately, and better yet, your trip to Waco. Well, what I've been doing is right after the implementation of the Healthy Hunger Free Kids Act, went around visiting schools to see how they were doing with implementation. Well, we're now releasing the Smart Snacks in Schools part of that legislation. And I'm back out again, talking to school, talking to food service directors um, throughout the country, uh, particularly on how well students have adapted to the changes in the cafeteria because they're major changes, the kinds of uh, technical support we can be giving to schools to help them where they're having challenges. Uh, we're learning more and more about some of the challenges around shortages and what that means in terms of having a menu planned and then not having the product to do the menu and what kinds of uh, support and technical assistance, but also policies that we can look at to make that kind of those kinds of challenges much easier. So it's a chance, but to, but, and then to visit a school like here in Waco. Right. Um, in Waco for the Hunger Summit, but always want to visit a school, spend time talking to food service principals, teachers, and the students. This is a fabulous school to come and visit. Um, you know, we have, I see varying schools and, and that are serving elementary students and that require, you know, just a lot of work. Um, in this school environment, um, you know, what they offer the students, the integration in, in of the products into the school curriculum, the foods that are provided, walking through this garden, right. seeing what they're doing in the, in the hothouse here, and just getting a sense that this school really has embraced and understands the importance of building the next generation, because that's what right. this is all about. You How had to build the next generation. And you had a chance to actually smell some of the things that are growing here, and it looked like you were having a good time. I was having a great time. The mint and the oregano and the rosemary. I mean, just think, children get to see these and then see how they f flavor their foods. Having a chef that works here and works with the students, I mean, this is a wonderful environment, and I hope students and parents really appreciate what the food service staff and the principals and the leaders of this ed and this institutions do for them. Very ironic in that yesterday I got a call from a reporter wanting to do a story of how kids are adapting to the healthier meals because anytime you change menu items, uh, they have to get used to eating right. healthier snacks because they're used to that other stuff. Right, right, and that's that's what I'm looking at as well. When I'm at, how well are students adapting? And I will tell you, overwhelmingly, students are adapting to the changes. Sure, it takes three or four times to introduce a new fruit or vegetable into the and a new way of pre preparing certain foods that they're used to. But once they get used to it, they're fine. I mean, the students are great. Sometimes the problem is more the adults. <laughs> than it is the students that are making this work. Stick right there. I'm going to talk to Cliff for just a minute. And Cliff, uh, uh, talk about that. Uh, you have really uh, tried to adapt these new rules and present the food in an appetizing manner. Talk about the things that Waco ISD is trying to do to make kids eat healthier. Well, you know, as you and I are, whenever we go out into the marketplace and eat, we, we see things by our eyes first, first and foremost. So. Presentation is critical. If, if you walk into a facility and you're not immediately appealed by the food, then obviously you're either not going to eat there again or you're not going to eat there at that given time. So the idea is, is presentation and customer service have to be the two most critical elements that you focus on. One is the food has to be presented well, which means it has to be cooked well, it has to be displayed well, and then, and then it has to be quality. And then the second part of that is it has to be delivered to the customer, which in our case is children from K to 12, has to be delivered to them with customer service. So those are the two areas we really focus on. Just like uh, Ms. Rose said, and it's a real privilege having her from USDA here, just like she said, the critical element with children is they will adapt. 
It's just continual presentation to them, make them understand, maybe get that child in the class that has the most influence. If you can get that child to buy in and try something, you're going to get all those other kids to try it. So that's kind of the goal we have, is present it well, get the kids to try it. Once they try it, they will eat it again. And one of the ways you judge the program, I hate to say, is by looking at the trash can because we want it in their tummies and not in the trash can. And so what have we seen as far as the kids eating the, the newer, healthier food? Well, I think what you're seeing, especially with the emphasis on fresh fruits and vegetables, is you're seeing the kids gravitating away from more of the canned items. You're seeing them gravitating more towards fresh fruits and vegetables and you're seeing them consume more fresh fruits and vegetables. You're also seeing changes made in terms of entrees. So you have wraps and you have salads and you have sandwiches, things like that. You're seeing more and more of those eaten. And that's the part I think that surprises adults more than its children is, wow, the kids are taking salads. They're requesting salads. And then we're trying to kind of emphasize how our setups are. We're re-looking at some of our serving lines and trying to put our salads and things at the front of the line as opposed towards the end. So we're always trying to kind of adapt to what's providing those kids the opportunity to focus on nutrition and good healthy items, but, but the kids love those items, so you're mixing the opportunity to help them as well. Cliff, thank you again for everything you do for the kids of Waco. Thank, you're welcome, thank you. Okay, and back to Audrey Rowe, uh, of course you're speaking to the Hunger Initiative this afternoon at Baylor University. What kind of a message, uh, and by the way, Cliff is uh, very well involved in the Hunger Initiatives in Waco with something called Pack of Hope, you probably heard about that. Uh, talk a little bit about your talk at Baylor this afternoon. Well, let's talk about two areas. One, um, just reminding people that we still have a hunger problem um, in the country and in the state of Texas and in the city of Waco. So how do we make sure that we are corralling all of our resources, getting our elected officials and appointed officials understanding the importance of supporting programs that address the issue of hunger? I will also be talking to them about the fabulous uh, outcome for summer that we had this year. You know, when school is out, it's when food insecurity increases. This summer we made a tremendous effort in ensuring that any child who wanted a meal had some place to go to get a meal. So we'll be talking about those successes. And then finally we'll be talking about what else can we do? Um, there are lots of great ideas out there. How do we get those ideas together? And how do we get the business and academic communities working with us to evaluate what's going on and to fund some of these unique ideas that may not be able to be funded by the American taxpayer? Very good. Audrey Rowe, welcome to Waco. Enjoy your stay here. It's thank so you. nice to have you here. You. Once again, this is Audrey Rowe with the United States Department of Agriculture. We thank her for being here, as well as Cliff Reese from Child Nutrition Services. I'm at Bells Hill Elementary, where there are learners today, leaders tomorrow.